All right, well, I have made an enormous mess here. What I've done is I've created a false bottom for my 55 gallon aquarium that I have an ornate box turtle in. And I just decided that I wanted to try and make it a bioactive setup. Maybe have a few plants growing in there. Mostly just have some nice soil in there that has earthworms and uh, you know other invertebrates. Um, just so the box turtle can have a more natural environment so it can kind of forage as it's digging through the soil and things like that. So I just made this false bottom out of egg crate light diffuser. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but this is what I did. Just grabbed it from Home Depot and zip tied it together. So I've got this nice base I put down on the bottom and I uh, cut the corner out right there because I actually put this little PVC pipe going all the way down to the bottom. Got a notch cut out of the bottom so I can stick a siphon tube in there and siphon um, siphon the bottom out if I have too much water kind of draining through there. And uh, obviously not all aquariums have this, uh, what do you call it, what do you call it? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Overflow tank. Um, this one did. I'm actually going to use it to uh, probably going to grow a plant in there, have a plant hanging down. So, um, yeah, I'm never going to use it as an aquarium again. I got it for free. So, I'm going to do what I feel like with this 55 gallon. Anyway, I'm going to put the bottom in and start mixing up the soil. Got a little ahead of myself there. Silly me, forgot to mention the fact that I needed to put some screen on top of the um, egg crate diffuser here. I mean, this is the whole purpose of it, is making a barrier between um, the bottom of the aquarium and the uh, substrate, so it's got a drainage layer. So, excess water can come out the bottom. But you don't want all of your substrate to slosh in with all that water, so... So I need to put this mesh on top of it. Anyway, I got to put it on there. Let's let's see how it fits here. Probably be easier if I uh, took my light out first. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys, hopefully you're not all brain dead by now. <laughs> it's looking good. And, I mean, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, jeez. Alright, we're looking good, but... You know, a lot of people will cover up the sides so you can't see that. I'm not going to be that fancy. I'm just going for function. Going for function right now. So we're going to mix up our soil and put it in there. So my box turtle will stop clunking around inside the box I have them sitting in right now. <sighs> All right. Well, I mixed up um, some organic potting soil. You know, it doesn't have any of the nasty fertilizer in there that you have to worry about contaminating your cage, hurting your reptile. Um, so organic potting soil, some cocoa fiber, and also cypress mulch. I wanted to get some sphagnum moss, but I just couldn't find any right now. I don't know, it's, we're kind of in between seasons, I guess, and they've pulled a lot of uh, gardening stuff out of the stores. So I just uh, I found some cypress mulch. I know I've used that for snake bedding, and uh, it's really good at holding humidity, so I'm just thinking that mixing that into the soil will keep it nice and moist and uh, it's not toxic so like cedar or something like that um, so anyway I I uh, already put a bunch in there and then I just decided that I wanted a little deeper as you can see she uh, she can bury herself almost completely but a lot of times her shell is kind of sticking out 
So I just want to make it deep enough so that she can completely bury herself and uh, also give more, um, you know, more substrate there for worms and and uh, cleanup crew to uh, go to town in there and get it nice and bioactive so I don't have to, you know, scoop poop out of here ever again. So anyway, I'm going to smooth this out and we're going to see how it looks. All right, we're looking good here. Sorry for the horrible glare. I don't really much I can do about it, but I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Honestly, you know, I'm a total noob at this, so I have no idea if what I'm doing is that great or not with the mix, but we'll see. Got a slab buried over here. I like to feed her on this. Um, so when she eats, her uh, beak hopefully will get worn down some so she doesn't get an overgrown beak but so this cage you know I'd like to have something a lot bigger than this um, but honestly it's just for the winter um, I've got an outdoor enclosure for her um, but she's inside for the winter it's already getting really cold here so but in the spring I'll make a video about the outdoor enclosure but I'm gonna dump some worms in here all right I've got two tubs of these fat juicy red worms and then uh, one thing of night crawlers I've already dumped a thing of night crawlers in there but she she found some of them and uh, gobbled them up which is great I mean they're great they're good for her and um, you know I kind of wanted to forage naturally in here so I'm dumping them in but I also want them to uh, you know sift through the soil and Help beat up the waste. Oh boy. Okay. Well, this is why you always check your crawlers or your worms before you buy them. I checked this one, but apparently I forgot to check this one. So that's on me. Walmart has really good prices on their worms, but you absolutely need to check every single one of them. I feel like an idiot. Uh, all right, well, I'm sure some of these are still good, but I'm going to have to sift through this this bin. Let's just dump this other one in, because I know that it's good. As I checked this one, all right, there they are. Ball, ball of worms, all right. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? All right, well, that's good. I was worried that they're all going to be dead because there is a moldy spot, but it looks like it's just a couple of them here. Whew. All right. Okay, we're going to let all these guys go into the dirt. Well, it's been a few days since I've added the worms to the box turtle setup here, and uh, things are going really well. I've noticed the worms, you know, crawling around through the soil. Here's a here's a night crawler right here. Actually, there's a couple of them. There's one down there, one right there. So they're crawling around through the dirt. Seem happy. The turtle. Um, just loves the soil now it's just buried constantly which is kind of a bummer but I uh, guess I'm glad she's happy the only thing right now that I'm kind of annoyed about is I don't know if these uh, if the cypress mulch was a good choice it's uh, well whenever she digs it just, a lot of the wood chips just get pushed up to the surface so it's just kind of accumulating here so that's kind of annoying, but here, let me uh, dig down and show you guys our little friend here. She likes to bury right underneath this heat lamp here. And as you can see, she's she's pretty far down in there. <laughs> we have a turtle. Alright, come on out. Okay. 
Here she is, guys. And uh, she's a feisty little one. She she tries to eat me a lot. So, but <clears throat> she seems nice and happy. And I've put a bunch of uh, red runner roaches in here too. She was scarfing those down the other day. But I'm sure there's some hiding out in the enclosure now. But she's got all sorts of things to eat in here right now. Got her water dish over in the corner here. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it so far. We'll see how it goes down the road, but you know, maybe this cypress mulch wasn't a good choice, but it looks kind of cool. And uh, Turtle seems pretty happy with it. So, thanks for watching, guys.